I like that. Yes, people are tight. Uh, tight. I was going to say tight. But hmm? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's tight. <laughs> uh, let's see what we can get. Okay, Maybe cool. we don't like it too tight. I don't know. <laughs> Look, listen to this Why are you being so civilized today? <laughs> what am I being oh, civilized? Yeah. Listen, I'm sleeping. G Money, oh. unsolicited advice. Make Afari a more regular feature on the pod. He has a different spark to the already lit conversations. One person can rest each week so that it's rotational. Resting between Calvin, Andy, Ashley, and Afari himself, but you remain a permanent feature. I'm like. Have you watched this pod before? <laughs> Who, who, who the, have you ever watched this just, podcast? This somebody called Ezra. <laughs> they said fuck us all. <laughs> but hey, the it's, most, it's, it's, it's just a comment. No, 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 big up Ezra, but you know the most likely person to be absent is me. Yeah. So is it? You're really absent, yeah, actually. Really? No, but when I take time off, I take time off in chunks, though. Mm. Just that we like it. Yeah. Oh wow, I actually look cute. I mean, I'm a very pretty babe. <laughs> Are we recording? Yeah. What's the T- t- no, no, no. To Fuck it, no, 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 no. Let's do it different. We're not even introducing ourselves. You know why you're here. The mics are blood clot open. Check, check, check. Select accent for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin, Calvin always late. Yeah. Right, let's start podding. When we talk about welcome back, Calvin. Bless up. Damn. How was your trip? Bless up. <laughs> Wow, sorry, you don't fuck with my eyes like that, man. You know I'm not wearing glasses, so like... Where's your glasses? I forgot them at home, so... You borrow mine? Um, I, Bella. No, no, no. Where's my glasses? Did I have glasses on? I'm wearing them. Oh. <laughs> Why do you think I was giving myself compliments? Oh, well, well, go on. What's your thing you like? I don't know. Your Actually, left eye is fucked, though. Ah, there's uh, as as no glasses. Nothing. Your like, left eye is messed there's up, There's yeah? no help. This one. No, it yeah. just... <laughs> Mine's the right one. Anyway, yeah, it's the mics are open. What's going on? How are you doing? I'm great, bro. I'm sublime. <laughs> you feel like I, yeah. I feel like this is gonna be a pod. <laughs> With yeah. the energy you walked in here, of course it's gonna be a crazy yeah, well, pod. Bro. I'm going no, to money. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, <laughs> are you? <laughs> Why are you I'm, sounding uh, stressed? I won't even lie to you, man. I'm fucked up. <laughs> There we go. What's what's going on? What's popping? So I went to the gym yesterday, and um, I've realized I'm. I take it on board now. Like I went there, I was having such a good time, putting my back into it. Pause. <laughs> Put my back into it, but then I realized that hey, my back was not enjoying it as much as I was enjoying it. Something else was putting something into your back. <laughs> yeah, <down>. pain. <laughs> For real, but yeah, yeah. No, but I'm yeah. good, man. I'm, I'm I'm concerned about a few things. Mm. Um, I'm really concerned about a few things. Oh, shit. But I'm not ready to talk the business just yet. Let's talk let's start a podcast first. Ashley, how you doing? How you been? I'm good. Mm. I'm okay. Mm. Um Yeah. Yeah, we, we don't want you to spill. No, I'm surviving, yeah. you know. Things yeah. are happening. Too mm. much is happening. Weird sometimes. energy. Mm. I okay. know. Nah, yo, uh, we'll We're take it for what it what? is, man. I know, right? Mm. Calvin, how you been? How's your trip? How's your vacay? Mr. Yeah, London. Good. Yeah. And who, who was behind the camera? <laughs> what, oh, <wow. laughs> so no, many people. Some questions oh, yeah? you don't I ask. like it. I like so, it. So many people actually. Did you I go? Like so, was that a solo trip? No, not that it's our business. Yeah, yeah. It's my. Solo. It's our business. <laughs> it's not our business. No, no, no. Hundred percent solo trip. Nice, calm. But what was actually interesting, bro, guys? I'm convinced we should do a mics are open in London. <clears throat> we should do. Yeah, that would actually okay. be fun. Like. It, Literally, my DM was just like, yo, when can we link up? Do you want to come watch football? Do you want to come to this That's pub? Nice. Do you want to know what? It was really nice. So a lot of people... Mm-hmm. Random guys missed. in London who know you. Yeah. Damn, off, nice. of the, off of the pod. Like, all that's of these nice. guys were just like, yo, let's connect. There was Saturday was actually pretty dope. There was like a table, like... Uh, full of like Kenyans. About wow. like nine guys. Nice. Randomly. You didn't know them? I, I knew about... Three, uh-huh. the rest just yo, what's up? Well, this, on. that, what, what, what? What's Guess the girl what's the mics? Huh? 
What's the girl them saying? Girl them. Yeah. Ah oh, man, London is. Hey bro. Hey. hey, hey. That's. <laughs> baby, 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 what what, 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 what you for? Yo, my new shags. Fuck Nyeri. And I said that. <laughs> fuck Nyeri. Nyeri never. I this Nyeri on the what? radio last week and people were upset, but Nyeri is the worst town in. Fuck Nyeri, in Kenya. man. You know you can't Damn. even come for me. Wow. Yo, fuck Nyeri. My new shags. Again, just London. <laughs> All right, mate. Oh, <laughs> swear to God. Why? 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 What is? Yo, Oh, bro, I saw white girls with bunda, <laughs> black girls with ass. I'd move to a, yeah. Yo. <laughs> yeah, Oh, my yeah. God. People, there was, people are but, moving But, but you know what, yes. what was actually crazy about it? Mm. So I went to one sneaker store, and I'm just talking to the guy. You know, London, uh, mm. you guys are so well mannered. you know? Talk very well. I'm talking to the guy, and the guy just asks me, so where are you from? He's like, uh, I tell him I'm from Kenya. He's like, oh, I was in Kenya last year. Oh, I went to uh, two national parks. He mentioned mm. Amboseli, Mara, and the guy's like half Chinese, half something. But right, that's right. one. Bro, Camden, literally, randomly in a store. <laughs> right. Like, this is Camden, eh? Yo, I'm talking to a guy. I'm like, hey, he looked a bit, um, you know, Kenyan, 0.5, this, uh, that. Mm. No, I wouldn't even say Kenyan. Looks very 0.5, right? Mm. So I ask him, where are you from? The guy said, my name is Mwenda. Ah. <laughs> bro, and he's Mwenda. Yeah. And he walks at a sneaker store. I'm like, bro, give nice. me your number. Nice. But it was so good to just... Con- mm. Man, it's a beautiful city. Really, Another really home really. away from home. <laughs> yeah, like uh, no I mean, mm. G and I were talking about this. Of course, you know, there's um, so many things about when you're a tourist, right? Mm. Uh, that you love, and the people in the city don't mm. particularly love. Love, mm. Mm. but bro, I I've come back with a whole different perception in terms of what tourism is. Mm. Bro, mm-hmm. London is a tourist town. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Like every single day, you know, you're taking the buses to get around, right? Yeah. So you're passing by Big Ben and all mm. of this, and every day it's just packed, packed. packed. Mm. Yeah. every bloody monument, London Bridge, mm. so packed. I mean, the, 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 the tourist, the tourism package in London is <clears throat> is um is exceptional. It really is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, really, really. Is it is. a must visit? I'd say, yeah, like in terms of, um, you know, just talking to like, I was talking to Prestige and them, right? Mm. And we were talking about like music and what London uh, uh, stands for, right? And now I can I can see, you know, like Beyonce, why they'll go there, mm. you know, the Drakes and what have you, like in terms of a cultural hub in Europe, mm. really is. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I saw, I saw you went to one extra, Manzi. Yeah, yeah man. One extra, really. Mm. Small, oh. small flex. Yeah? G is <laughs> <laughs> on the wall of fame. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's, a, there's, there's, there's a whole <laughs> wall where each and every year, mm. one extra, they take photos of their current presenters. Mm. Mm. So you can see a, a, a young G money. A young G money. Did you take so, a picture of it? <laughs> Yeah, listen, so actually oh, what's, happening, what's happening is, <laughs> what's happening, that whole, there's a lot of changes yes. uh, been done. The changes, the studios have been mm. changed and all of that. So it was a really, really good one. I really enjoyed myself. I even saw a shark. A shark? Yeah. You went to the, pla- the, 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 aquarium, the aquarium, right next to the London Eye. Mm. There's a whole aqua- aquarium down there that you just mm. go levels and levels and levels. Yo, it was so crazy. What was your favorite part about, what was your favorite, I mean, the tourist product, whatever, Walking through the street, what was your what was your favorite like when you when you think about your trip? What was the favorite your favorite time? And who? Um, Camden, Camden, Shoreditch. Um, okay, Camden. Yeah. My first job ever was in Camden. Yeah. Mm. Why? Why Camden? Rich, it's just, mm. creative, mm. creative. It's very diverse. It's multicultural. It's yeah. cosmopolitan. It's everything. Nice. Very artistic. Very, very. Nice. The graffiti, the, the you know, the box parks, everything. But yo, the clubs were lit, though. Yeah, mm. I was going to ask you about the nightlife because I've heard uh, it's different. But can I just ask, G, why the fuck didn't you ever say you guys drink tap water, though? <laughs> <laughs> what? Fuck. Some, some people it do. was so shocking. I'm in the club, Culture so shock. with Free and them, right? Uh-huh. We're all clubbing. I'm like, so you guys want some water? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go to the bar. I'm like, yo, can I have some water? The guy just whoo, ah. two glasses. I was like, wait, 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 wait. It's not like he's opening the tab. Bro, he, this is a proper club. Everyone drinks tap water. 
Like, so all you do is get like a filter under like your sink and water. But tap water is a norm. But uh, obviously you can get your mineral water and everything. I, um, uh, I used to drink tap water, like growing up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that, that's the one thing that gave you culture shock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there are people who drink tap, tap water in Kenya, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, a lot, a lot, right? But, mm. um, okay, that's, it sounds very privileged, right? No, right. no, no, but, no, no, but, no. But it's, but it's just, bro. M- mm. no, you know, normally, mm. if you're drinking tap water in Kenya, you're going to boil it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, if, yeah. if at all, right? Put, yeah. Probably put it in like a sieve or something. Mm. Mm. But you're in a club. In this club, we had to pay ten pounds to get in. <laughs> You're giving me tap water, right? <laughs> <laughs> ten pounds to get in. Then that's you, so one thousand eight hundred shillings. Yes, mm. right. Top. Hey, that was different. Mm. But what I think the most fascinating thing for me was the underground. Oh yeah, the underground is Bro. my favorite. My favorite thing about London. No London lie. underground. You guys done killed it. That is actually what got me to go to the uh, transport museum. To the transport museum because it's so fascinating. Mm. Just how you can leave uh, the airport bam, straight uh, to Paddington on the train, and then you get on another train and what and what. Like <laughs> in terms of the transport system, yeah, bro. Everything that the government is telling us right now, I'm just like shouting from the back. Fuck off. Mm. The thing, the, the thing I like about the, um, I'd say about the, the, the transport system in London is that it's so simple. Yeah. Like the underground, like, like New York, New York subway system is. I find it very complex. Other cities I've been to, mm. I find, I find Amsterdam's trams complex as well. Mm. But the subway is so. I think even the map. The guy who designed the map, mm. like he won an award because it's so simple, it's so mm. modular, you can't really get lost. Line. But yeah, but yeah the, the, getting around London, like you don't have to have a car. Like mm. you really don't. Have don't. A car. It's also very expensive to have a car in London. Mm. Like yeah, how mm. much you're paying? What like fifteen pounds or some shit to go into the central to just area? Get into the city. So yeah. imagine, and that is not your hourly parking. Mm. That's just your 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 congestion Entry. charge. Yeah. Oh wow. Damn. So you can awesome. so everybody's just on the bus. Like it was so interesting the other night, uh, seeing a couple coming from a date, and you can see they're just dressed to yeah, yeah they're about to go fuck or something. You yeah, know what I mean? I know the but bus. they're just on the bus. <laughs> yeah, you get, like yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know I think I read the whole but, situation. But but also just <laughs> yo, I then um in central London, uh Oxford Circus, bro. I watched someone's phone get snatched. Really? Yo. Nice. I thought Kenya was nice. nice. <laughs> Bro. Just because you used to steal bikes in the day. <laughs> so so there's, there's the Lime bikes, right? So the Lime bikes, you can hire them via an app. So they're packed literally everywhere. everywhere. G was like, yo, that shit ain't popping here. They'll Mm-mm. be stolen everywhere. Fact. So you literally find them packed. <laughs> the bikes. Endlessly. And the everywhere. scooters. The scooters, all of those. So, so Saturday night, I saw... A guy who was like, you know, balaclava and everything, and some guy, white guy, is walking with his phone, and the guy just from the road jumped onto the curb and snatched the phone. Literally snatched the phone, and the way that bike accelerated, it was definitely electric. Like I right. don't know what the wow. fuck the guy, because the guy did whoop, then he was whoop, gone. I'm like, <laughs> what? That just so happened. So you and me are asking guys, what this shit happens over here? They're like, so those guys are actually not uh, British. Most of them right, are right. like from, you know, Poland, mm. all of these different countries. So those phones have been stolen. Yeah. Yeah. But what was actually interesting, not much police presence. Right. Well, there's so many cameras. So many cameras. Cameras everywhere. everywhere. So then the police can be there in two minutes. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. also, a lot of plain clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I was, asking, I was asking Prestige, why don't you see as many cops? And they're like, because it's such a touristy town, they're not trying to have... Because you, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you can imagine how many people are going through the underground mm. and there's no cops. Mm. Hey, it's yeah. it's different. <laughs> yeah, man. But it was it was good. That's the police nice. are also very polite, cut, polite and courteous. <laughs> yeah, man. So anyway, until they get you at after midnight in Bri- not even in Brixton in Peckham. In Pe- not even Peckham. Peckham's gentrified now. Where would you say? I don't even know where, where yeah. you'd say now. Yo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yard, man. Bristol. Brixton. Brixton. Yes, it's Brixton. Uptown now. Uptown mud. Yeah. But I saw a crackhead over there, bro. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> surprise, <laughs> surprise. <so random. laughs> Yo, it was so shocking. Some chick literally ran onto the road in front of a bus and like fell on the street and was just like shaking and shit. I'm like, 
Because I've never seen anyone who's crack infested ever in my life. <laughs> wow. So I saw that shit and I was just like, wow. <laughs> damn. But you know, that drug shit, like you're walking, well, you're going towards the underground, then you just see someone who's like <laughs> a beggar and the beggars over there are so polite. They've written why you need to pay, you need to give them money. Mm-hmm. I just need 10 pounds to get somewhere to sleep tonight. Oh. <laughs> Written in the Queen's English. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah. it was so like... Hello, kind sir. Uh, one would hope that you'd be able to furnish me with 10 pounds <laughs> so I can find furnished. somewhere to rest my head later tonight. <laughs> Thank you. But let, me, <laughs> but let me ask you, G, why don't, why don't you ever hang up the phone and say, have a great day? Who, me? Yeah. Like, Kenya has gentrified <clears throat> you. Because I'm black. <laughs> Did you get Bro, a lot of that there? Everyone. Have a great You're day. You're at the Apple store. There's no iPhone 15s. Yeah, but have a great day, sir. You're at the <laughs> shop buying milk. Have a great day, sir. This is a, everyone. Bro, have you never heard my show? Beautiful morning. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, every morning, bro. Literally, <laughs> you're getting off the bus. So the bus has like the main entrance where you get in. You tap your card. So there's like now two entrances, mm-hmm. right? And they have like uh, access chairs for guys on wheelchairs. If you've got a kid, all of that. Mm. A guy's coming from upstairs, going downstairs. Thank you. I'm like, what the fuck is this polite country? But it's fake though. It's all fake. Especially those white niggas. <laughs> it's all fake. They're pussies. They're all, they're all, they're all just like... Let me tell you, I, I always sleep about white people in, in the UK. Not all of them, obviously. Yeah, uh, white man. friends, but they're... Uh, you don't, don't let that fool you. Yeah. You want you're to test how polite they are? Uh. Just be driving beside them in the traffic lights and the lights go green and you cut them up. Fucking nigga. Send them back to their fucking countries. This time you're born in London. Damn. <laughs> I don't trust yeah, those characters. But... but <laughs> Yo, I think I think uh, I heard someone who crossed someone on the Love road, the and someone literally <laughs> shouted, yeah. "Fuck off!" And the guy was like, "Have a good day." <laughs> like, That's a move. Shit, this is I different. Love that. Yeah, but I don't know. What, what I, I find it. I find <clears throat> like I saw you having such a good time, and I was like, "Wow!" Like this. Why different. doesn't London feel like that to me? Yeah, yeah. I know. London doesn't feel like that to me. Like I, I go when I go to London. Obviously, like my family's there and stuff, but. When I go to London and like I can be at home and then it's like, okay, let me go to central London. I'm like, oh fuck, like the crowds and this and the train and that. Yeah. I don't know. I just think that like I, the London that you enjoyed, I think I used to enjoy it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But now I just, I just, I, I just, I just, it, it's, it's eh. yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe because you've experienced mm. it and I think so many also, times. It's really interesting because it's like my friends who come to Nairobi. When they're not bringing girls to my house, my, <laughs> my friends who come to Nairobi have the uh, most amazing time. Mm. Mm. They're like, yo, Nairobi is lit. Yo, when you go to Nairobi, you know, fam, I link up with Gino. Gino. This time I'm like, mm, okay. Nah. Bro, I'm not even going to lie. I even see it a lot on TikTok and I'm like, is this the same Nairobi I live in? I know, right? <laughs> is this the same Kenya yeah, I too, live yeah. in? But and I find that content very exciting. And the fact that other people coming from different nations, even for the first time in Africa, live alone Kenya, and they come and they experience the good life that we have in Nairobi. I'm like, wow, I've been still in here for 20 something years. And I've never I've experience. never known this exists, bro. You know. But you, but you know what I what I kind of um often because I, I decided I was gonna do everything possible touristy. Like mm. right, right, everything. Right. I even went to the National Gallery. Wow. Like they have paintings from 1793. When did you last go there? Have I been the following year. Because <laughs> I, I was asking Priscilla. I was like, so when's the last time you went to the gallery? She's like, when I was five. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's it's a thing. So I can understand. Just like how I've never been to the uh, giraffe thingy. Oh, giraffe well. okay. giraffe a lot of people manner. from around a place don't go to the places where true. the tourists. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. true. true. Yeah. I used to. I, I but when I first came, mm. when, and I had a um, poor, what are you laughing at, man? <laughs> when I first came. <laughs> wow. Come on, when I first arrived, <laughs> when I got here, when I got, when I got here, helping. when I got here, and and in those days, I mean, I I was driving a a Discovery. There were mornings when I would literally leave work and go drive through the national park, and I used to be fascinated by, like, shit. You know, I can. I've left work like ten o'clock, eleven o'clock. I'm driving past giraffes and 
ostriches mm. and it was really it's amazing. like it's amazing yeah ask me the last time i've been there yeah when's yeah. the last time you've been there i do not know it's been years so i think there's a duality of of, of every city where the people who live there don't see it yeah mm. but the people who come in and see it like they're like you know you know like for example it's like uh, i remember the first time Char- not the first time first or second time charlene came and there was a Sunday morning, it was about 11 o'clock, I remember we'd gone, and, she, and we'd stopped at Tamasha, and she was amazed that we could buy beer at 11 o'clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, we're drinking at 11 a.m. Yeah, 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 yeah. on a Sunday morning. And I'm like, yeah, that's small, small. <laughs> but then you go, when you go back to London, you think, oh, the off license are all closed, yeah, the yeah, pubs yeah, are closed, yeah. the bars are closed at that yeah, time. Yeah. So it's just a small, small things mm. that you. I, I saw some off licenses that were like 24 7. Oh, really? Cigarettes, booze, at Travalga. I'm just like, oh, oh those ones, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those ones. I was like, what? Okay, this is nice. But, but yo. 24 hour fun. economy though. Nevertheless, I'll tell you this. So that's a cute shit about it. It's an expensive city. Very. Mm. Very. What? Mm. If I tell you how much my Airbnb was, it was like 200 Gs for like six days. Actually, yeah, around that. Yeah. yeah. Imagine. For an Airbnb. Yeah. And you imagine you now, 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 <laughs> now, now imagine going to a hotel. But then you stayed yeah. in a nice, you stayed in a decent place and, yeah. and, and the house was nice. Very. But housing is expensive in London. But mm. also very tiny. Yes. Yeah, bro. Like, I hate it. Hey, let me tell you, G's house in London. I hate ah, it. big crib. This, this former house, big crib. It's a big yard. This is a big <laughs> yard. Like you go to someone who has a house this size, you're like, mm. my guy. Mm. You're doing well, huh? This is a big. <laughs> when crib. my cousins come to to my place Aye, here, that's a temple. They're like, yo, cousin's <laughs> living good, you know. <laughs> cousin's living nice, good. fam. Man's got the pool downstairs, in the gym, you know. Yeah, it's like, true, fam. Nice. I I remember, like my uncle just bought a house in London. Donovan just bought a house mm. in London. He says he's coming in January, by the way. So it's a big up. Um, he, How did I see Donovan? I don't even know. It didn't even cross my mind, man. But anyway, wow. he's coming in January. So, sorry, he's coming to Kenya in, in January, right? So anyway, Austin, now see what you did. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, so when I obviously I went to see him last time I was there, and he's bought the house and he showed me around the house, and I'm like, I'm happy for him because you know he's you know it's a new house and stuff. But I'm just like, fuck, this house is small. Yeah, mm. and it's like a three bedroom house, but like. Trust me, like in the, one of the bedrooms, you can literally put a wardrobe and a bed. Yep. Mm. That's it. Mm. But what's actually crazy about it, I actually wanted us to touch on housing. First, I love the way, the fact that so uh, London's divided into what? How bars. many bars? Yes, like, I, can't, I don't even remember. Yeah, yeah. It's 30 something, so, I think. So literally, so let's say if Upper Hill is one borough, right? You are entitled to housing. Mm. As in basically, mm. it's a devolved thing. You need a house mm. it's a it's a right it's a right human right or something you like get that. so off of that you can now start to def- depending on where so you, you can def- actually you have you have they call it council houses yes council houses. so i grew up in a council house which is basically mm. a house that's owned by the government yes mm. and you just pay rent for it and mm. then like maybe 20 or maybe more than that they you started can, to give people the right to buy to buy them yeah mm. to buy them as they built more stock but the problem with london is as the public housing um, stock has dwindled, the cost of buying a house in London mm. has gone crazy. So you literally, depending on if the closer you mm. are to the city, the uh, more expensive the more expensive stuff is. Mm. So somewhere like Brixton, which is like five stops away from central London mm. on the train, very prime location, big old houses there, yeah. and traditionally Brixton was a black area. So what happened was that when all of the, the white people came in and they're like, "Oh, this is quite close to town." The old Caribbean black people, African black people started to sell all their stuff mm. in Brixton at crazy prices. So, for mm. example, a friend of mine, the, the mom and dad sold their house at like almost a million pounds. Yep. And, they yeah. bought it, and they bought it in mm. the 60s for yeah. 60,000, mm. 70,000, right? Mm. So, the, what's happened now is that a lot of those black people have moved further out. Yeah. Mm. So, now, for example, if you want to like buy a decent house as a black person or any, as any person, rather, mm. You're not looking at London. You're looking at the edges, hundred yeah. percent, the outskirts, and mm. now even sometimes yeah. even further out. Mm. But the beautiful thing is, with a good transport system, it works. You, you could be fifty miles 100%. out of London yeah. and work in Central London. Yeah, it but takes then you of course, an hour to get in. But then yeah. of course the cost of transport as well. Mm. But think, a think, about, think about it like this. You see how G has said his uncle just bought a house. Mm. That same house could probably be like what six hundred thousand, mm. and you over here 
you could pick a e- serious mm. 600,000 serious over here you're, you're going to carry 100 them yeah. 100 them yeah. imagine 100 them that for a matchbox essentially yeah. <laughs> Damn, serious, that's serious. Crazy. Yeah. Wow. So now, if you're trying, so for that 500k that you've gotten, mm. if you want to now get like a crib, a like crib, crib, big, mm. you probably now have to go shags. Yeah. Yeah. And now you can get like a nika or something. Yeah. And it, but then crazy. the good thing about it is, it's like, I would say it's a good thing. It's a bad thing. There are so many cities in the UK. So, like for me, I always thought to myself, if I go back, to, if I was to ever go back to London, to the UK to live. I wouldn't necessarily go back to London. Mm. I'd go back to Manchester. Or I'd go back to Birmingham. Or I'd go to to Bristol or I'd go to one of those places that are outside. I mean, just because everything you want is still going to be there. Yeah. So you there's no I mean? point yeah, to pay all of that to live yeah. uh, in the different I, area. Uh, the only, the low point for me is I didn't catch a football game. Mm. I really thought I could. I even got membership for Crystal Palace because mm. I really wanted to go watch a game. Yeah. Bruh, tickets for a game. Mm. You so couldn't. you buy a membership. Could you even get them? You couldn't. Mm. membership for crystal was coming to about 38 pounds mm. then a ticket for the game because this is now friday for the saturday mm. they were playing against fulham i think sold out so not sold out uh <coughs> was it 70 something mm, i would have gone though that's not bad that's not bad but me was just like fulham sherehe <laughs> But Crystal Palace's ground is quite cool. It's actually very close to you. It was very close. So you it was saying? very really close. Mm. I was just like, hmm, hmm. Actually, it's I was going to go. The person mm. who discouraged me was actually, you know who. They were just like, don't go. It's okay. Let's go and party. No. Nah, they were just like, it's a bit too much for that game. Oh, I know who that was. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this the mics are open. Uh, else, let's bring it back to Kenya. I'm glad you had a good trip. Did you get my book? Mm. It's in the car. Mm. Oh, good stuff. I got, he's, I'm That's gonna, the most guilty yes I've ever seen. I'm reading these days. I'm reading a really good... Can we talk about books? Yeah. I'm Don't reading about a anything, really bro. good book at the moment. What, what are you why, reading? Why are you back to actually reading books, books? Don't you like like reading... like? No, I have I have that book on my, on my, on my Kindle as well. Mm. But it's so good, I want to own it. Mm. Hold up, before we go into that, true story. On the train, right? So you know a lot of British people love reading books. On the train, yeah. So there's, you know how you're seated on the tube, right? So this person <laughs> is opposite. Yo, there's a lady who's just sat with her husband. She tremors her glasses. She's on the Kindle. Someone comes in, sits next to her. Yo, the facial expressions on this person who's now reading what this person is, is reading. reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But you know that was like, like, what the fuck? But you know it's really funny when you think about like transport on in London how you just go and sit next to anybody you don't even know and it's not a thing. Yeah. Whereas for me, like I if I was to get even if I get on a plane and someone comes to sit next to me, I'm like, what the fuck, like <laughs> who are you? Yeah, but it's so up close and personal, man. And when those tubes are full, they're full. Yeah, very But yeah, the book I'm reading is a book called Diary of a CEO. It's um, by the same guy who does the podcast and the same name. Yeah. Really got some jewels in there. If you get a chance, check it out. So I've been reading it on my phone and on Kindle, but uh, Calvin, I asked him to get me a physical copy. There's a thing back. about, even when you're listening to like um, Audible, like audio books, if it's so good, you just need to own the damn book. Mm, really? There's something about it, yeah. Also, physical copies do something. I don't know. It's a different... It's the paper. I hear people get romantic about books. It's the smell of the paper. No, it's true. It's beautiful. <laughs> no, I don't... I think it's, it's the saliva on the paper. But, no, like, you yeah, don't put saliva on, do? on books. But you can finger a book, I'll be, right? I, yeah, yeah, but yeah. You don't put bits yeah, of light on the book. Like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the way I look at it is like the book that you've got for me. I probably won't read that book. I'll probably still read it on the Kindle, but I want that book. Like the I, I just want collect this book. book. Yeah, 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 I think, yeah, I think it's a good, it's a good, it's a good book too. I don't know. I just want to own it. Mm. I, I know what you mean. I bought an iPod, an iPod, really? Pod. Or pod. They still the have iPods. Ones. I bought an iPod. They don't make them anymore. Bro, I was walking on the streets and I saw a store selling secondhand shit. Was it like and an it antique? I was like, what? Antique iPod. 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 Which really? one is it? The the iPod with the, the nano. The, 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 the oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's vintage. iPod, bro. And you know what's actually crazy? Next to it was the touch. 
Nice. I used to have I a touch like iPod. <laughs> so what do you buy it for? Just for like vibes? No, I bought it for vibes. And it was what? Mm. They were selling it at 55 pounds. I was mm. like, yeah, bro, that thing, my daughter, I'm showing her. You see this do thing? Do you know this thing? <laughs> do but you know yo, this? Because for me, I have a Walkman as well. Yeah. Mm. Bro, the day when I was moving and I thought the people who, by the way, those fuckers, sorry, those guys who move people, at times they'd be stealing shit. They stole my Walt Disney t-shirt, man. Imagine. To the mic. Like Disney, bro. Man is salty. Salty, bro. Damn. Why you no. gonna steal another man's heel, bro, though? heel, bro. Yeah, but I think, you know what's... Like, and a Walt Disney one. Now that you mentioned the iPad, right? iPod, rather. Do you guys... Are you guys familiar with the iPod? The ones before the... Is the one before the screen? The, yeah, the, 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 the nano the, one. The, the, with the, the dial. No, the nano, 50 is, cents. nano is way late. Yeah. The first one had like just like a, a dial thing on, on the front and a, a little... The tiny... Or the screen. Yeah. The screen was black and white, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Do you know how... how the process of loading music onto that damn yeah. thing was. It wasn't like now you were just like download it onto your phone. Mm. You, you yeah. literally plug had to in. have the music, yeah. then plug it into the computer. Yeah. Yeah. And then wow. it, it was a long time. It was yeah. mad. I had the, the bigger one. Which one is it? The one with the screen? It was like uh. this big, then it had the screen. Right. Then I got the touch one as well, wow. which was really dope. Yo, Sony did the damn thing as well. Sony had the Walkman series, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The MP3. Sony was the MP3 player. You know, it's crazy that we're talking about that, right? And we'll get to like phones and stuff. Bro, I watched a, a movie about BlackBerry and I'll remember the name uh -huh. of the movie and send it to you. Bro, how BlackBerry fucked themselves, bro. Completely. Completely. Bro, <laughs> there's a part in that movie where the BlackBerry guys have been winning. They had a 100% share of smartphone, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And they were competing with like Nokia and what, but BlackBerry was BlackBerry. Mm. Yeah. BlackBerry had the first iMessage. Yeah. BBM. Yeah. BBM. Yeah. Yeah. Before yeah. anything. Yeah. Fam, yeah. let me tell you. They well, used to be called BBM. BBM. Yeah. No, me. <laughs> yeah. I used to have Blackberry, yeah. You used I, to have two Blackberries. Two, two Blackberries, my God. You remember? Yeah, this guy used to have one Blackberry, another. You're like, who the fuck is he talking <laughs> to, bro? <laughs> but then same, I have two phones now. It's just a habit, I think. Mm. But um, the thing with Blackberry, I think Blackberry is an, is an analogy for every single company or person who thinks that we are so good, we'll never run out off. of business. Mm. Mm. Because like, when, I came, when I came, when I first arrived <laughs> in Kenya, right? I had two phones. I had a BlackBerry and I had an iPhone. iPhone 2 or whatever it oh, was, right? Yeah. The Damn. iPhone 2 was mm. just for jokes. Like, for, see, I had a SIM card in there, but it was just for jokes. It was just yeah. like, whatever. Like, the, my BlackBerry was my serious, serious mm. phone. Mm. And I remember the first time my BlackBerry got stolen here, like the next day. I remember even Max, Max Radio. Mm. There's a time when Max... <laughs> Max, who now works at Spotify, mm. I took him to Nakuma and I bought him a, 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 a BB, a Blackberry. Nice. I'm like, you need a serious phone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I bought him a Blackberry. Safari come and then had a Blackberry. I bought him a Blackberry. Um, was it Pearl in those days Pearl. or something? But the thing about Blackberry, everything, fam, everything that we use now, WhatsApp, mm. internet, da, 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 all those things, Blackberry was there first, bro. All of the artists in Jamaica. Like, you see, in Jamaica, it was Chuck like, BBM, give me a BBM pin. Mm. That's what it was. To the yeah. point where BBM actually became an app. So now you can have BBM on your iPhone and yeah, your other yeah. phones, your other phones. They fumbled that bag because they thought it would no, never change. Yeah. It's, mm. Actually, guys, for real, real, I'll give you guys the title. Spend some time watching that movie. Mm. There's a part where the guys are now uh, Steve Jobs. Mm. They actually have the footage of now the guys are Blackberry, right? And they've been told, yo, Apple is doing the damn thing. Steve Jobs is like, you can have email, you can have music, and you can have phone. And it's touch. Yeah. And then the BlackBerry guys are like, yeah, that's really not going to take off. Like, yeah, it won't take off. Yeah, because <laughs> then they, they had AT&T, all yeah. of the big whatevers. Mm. So what's actually interesting, BlackBerry at the first time, right? Imagine they only had 500K phones using one service at a go. Wow. Yeah, yeah like you, the, you, inter yeah. The, the, the carriers wow. yeah. couldn't... Whatever. Yeah. So the, at that particular very early time, it crashed. Mm. There was like a BBM um, BlackBerry outage. It's mm. anyway, we're geeking out. If you like technology, watch it. Also, bla having a BlackBerry was a statement. It really yeah. was. Yeah. It was but then a you see, I mean, uh, uh, to me, a BlackBerry is like a radio station. Mm. In the sense of like. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go there? <laughs> no, uh, let me. Maybe a radio station is not. Or let's say uh, analog media, like, mm -hmm. as in like, it's so good, it's so great, it's going to last forever. And it's really not. Mm. And the thing about it is, it's like, at the end of the day, what, what, uh, what, what uh, the iPhone did to BlackBerry was took 
the bits that people liked, mm. added more, yep. made it better. Maximize. Exactly. And when so it's like it's, it's it's just it's just a law of the beast, and it's like one of those ones where when I look at like the whole media soundscape now, and I think to myself, okay, what's the BlackBerry of this generation? And it's probably traditional media. Mm. Mm. True. It's like, for example, it's like you know, um, last night we were filming some stuff um, with Grouchy, and I thought I thought to myself like, do you know what's crazy? When Grouchy does this, when the wake up call goes out uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m., 9.15 a.m., when it goes out, no, tomorrow, yeah, Friday, yeah, tomorrow, right? It's like, I, I don't have to watch it yeah. when it goes out. Yeah. Mm. I can watch it on Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. So me as a radio presenter, right? Mm. When I wake up in the morning, when you wake up in the morning, you will wake up in the morning to go and do a show, bro. Fam, when I'm saying beautiful morning, there's somebody who wants to hear that at one o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. yeah. So 100. if there's no app or no way for people to listen to, one of the things I learned at One Extra is this. When One Extra started, remember One Extra is a digital station. Mm. They're not on FM. Yeah. Never been on FM. Mm. It's just digital audio broadcasting. So it's, it's online, it's whatever. There were times where you could say Robo's doing his show. Maybe you have 500 people listening to Robo Live. By the time you look at his numbers at the end of the week, mm. he's had 500,000 people listening. Because mm. people listen, listen when back. they feel like yeah. it. Yeah. You know? So yeah. that's the thing about it, isn't it? And, and it's not just media, it's everything you do. It's it like, really is. I really think one of the, the most trouble, the one of the things that trouble, troubles me, but I think about the most is that. We're in this era where we have so many tools at our disposal. Mm. And the problem is so many of us just do like a half-assed job because it's so easy to do. Mm. Yep. You see what I'm trying to say? And mm. I'm saying to my, I, I think, I say, I tell myself, man, these tools that we have, the fact that we can have our podcast, the fact, you know, it's like you think about every radio presenter who's fallen off. All of them from mm. way back in the day. And when I say falling off, who left radio, you never heard about them again. You don't know what they are, where they're doing. Mm. That will never happen to us. Yeah. Mm. Imagine that. <clears throat> yep. As long as we stay in this space and we keep doing what Creative. we're doing, we keep podding, we keep, that will never happen to us. Y you know, it's it's crazy. Uh, learn something uh, at the BBC. Uh, this and really stuck with me. Uh, highlight, right? What is the competition for everything that we like radio? What's the competition? It's the digital. Be. Bro, streaming. Everything. Mm. Everything. Mm. And and it was very interesting how they said to me, you notice BBC when they are doing an interview, mm. they don't go live on Instagram. Mm. Mm. They're like, why should we put you onto another medium that's not mm. us? So they'll film it and then it'll go out on their on website their or BBC yeah, yeah, Sounds yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Mm. Which is very smart. Yeah. yeah. You get. Like because this is the only place you can get so, it. Yeah. So that's number yeah. one. Number two, anything that's taking people away from spending time listening to you on radio is competition. Mm. And think about it back in the day, uh earlier days, like in the nineties. The guys were going to the movies. Yeah. Guys are going to the club. They're not spending time mm. on radio. Yeah. Mm. But now you have DSPs. Mm. You have guys who are streaming their music. Mm. So that's the competition to radio. Yeah. You have guys on social media competition to radio. Yeah. Mm. Another competition to radio is gaming, which is taking so much. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Guys are on their games Try all that. damn day. I saw some, where was it? Where, where, I don't know if it's in the group today. Somebody dropped it and said that Gen Z value online relationships more than in person. Yeah. True. So meaning that my online community is just as, mm. if not important. more important. Mm. Yeah. And then you see like, for example, when there's somebody who you follow, somebody you tweet with or whatever, whatever, when you meet them in the real world, it's like you've known this person for forever. forever. For a while, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So if you, so, so having said all of that, you know, it's like, I, I read another report this week where it goes, you know, the, the, the new direction that sports is taking, it's about fans, it's about fans being immersed in, in, in this thing, fans don't. Back in the day when I used, when we were kids, well, when I was a kid, and <laughs> football came on TV, right? Literally Saturday morning, there's football, there's one game or whatever. You you wait, you go and watch this game. Oh my god, this game's so bad. Da, 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 da. Now you go and you go and um, play with your friends when the one game that's been shown that day is mm. is over. Mm. Now 
I want to do watch-alongs. I want to watch it. I want to see the game being streamed. I want to watch somebody watching the game. Mm. Like, I want to watch. I want to have a watch party. Yeah, I want to yeah. do all of these things. Mm. Yeah. So it's now, it's all to be immersed. Yeah. So as I think we're going to be told at some point during this week, Andy, there's a disconnect between... The digital listener <laughs> and the analog listener. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> For the umpteenth time. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, How old are the people who are telling you? Hmm? Uh, yeah, that's let's, a let's question. Let's not get so, yeah? into that. Uh, no, uh, just saying, just thinking out loud. How old are the people who are telling you? Yeah, that's, let's that, move that's, on. That's, that's, that's the question. <laughs> let's move About on. About to trigger um, people. Yeah, just to lighten things up. I saw this online and I was like, this is very interesting. Say you are at your worst bottom of the pit right whether it's financially well majorly financially right what are three things you will never compromise on when it comes to spending like it doesn't matter how broke you are you're not compromising on these three things chicken <laughs> wow fair enough mm -hmm. okay um wow. your bottom of, your 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 bottom of the barrel three things yeah that's a good question that's a really mm -hmm. good question mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. Um, Three things you refuse to go cheap on, like oh, you refuse all, to go cheap on, oh, yeah. yeah, like okay. you retain the the quality, yeah. the standard. Mm. That's a really hard question, man. Yo, food. Uh, I, I told uh, myself uh, this. Food I is don't one. care how bad things are for me. I will always eat good. Yeah, yeah. Always oh, eat so good. Food I don't care one. how much money I'm spending on food. I uh -huh. will eat good. That's one. Two. I think how I look. Okay. It can't like look like your problems. <laughs> abomination. That's an abomination. Can, can what are problems? That? What are problems? What is that? <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. And uh, the third one, internet. Mm. I think for me, internet is definitely... Like, the first thing that came to my mind was internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, food. Obviously. But I don't know about... The way I look, I'm not really concerned about that. Like general appearance. As long as I smell good and my clean, my clothes are clean, I don't really care. Or like the haircut, yeah. The mini, the uh, mm, well, doesn't I, really matter. Okay. I mean the haircut, or the, the, <laughs> the beard cut. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I spend a lot on the main, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think for me, in the very good words of Vin Diesel, family. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> you oh didn't get that God. one, G. No? Oh, Vin Diesel, wow. in the movies, I don't, I don't, I don't know he's always it. just like family. It's all about oh, family. family. Oh. Like, you, can, you can go on TikTok and Google Vin, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Family. It's just family. Mm. No, I, never, I, I, think, I think for me, man, it's just no matter how, because you see everything that you guys have mentioned, if you have family, you can have that. Good food. Imagine you have good, you imagine you're down, 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 broke, and. Not to go home. Yeah. There's a reason okay. mid month I'm always at my parents' house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Family. Family. <laughs> yeah. So I think, yeah. but but just just that's bring it of, back. That side of the table is not relatable. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm all you, invited. But wow. for me, yeah. for me, uh, bro, I think good music, some shit like that. It's okay. like in the air. You know what I mean? With the internet, you how are you music. spending? Yeah. How are you spending on music? Yeah, bro. Like How albums. are you spending on music? See, so you're broke, Spotify. broke. Hi. So you're broke, broke, but mm. Spotify Premium. Me you're Doko, buying. Hey, Buddha. At Five dollars. <laughs> you, you don't want to hear ads. <laughs> I don't want to hear ads. I'm just oh, like, man. yo, Buddha shit. You know, I could be dead broke. Okay. And you guys have bought the, the Nini, the KC. Mm. Is that the ABL? Yes, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. it's, a premium, right? it's a lit drink. It's a lit drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Melissa Casey. I'm with my guys. Mm. That time, you know, I'm dead broke. I'm Uko now in Sharks mm. with my lizard playing volleyball. You know, wow. six o'clock things. <laughs> so, you know, we've been in the chamber all day. <laughs> so now we're, we're doing, what do you call it? R&R, uh, uh, mm. right? So I'm like, guys, you guys have bought uh, the KC. I've got the Spotify. Right. Do you know how bad man I am in Shags? Continuous music. How how are you in Shags living in such conditions, but you're on Spotify premium? That's the thing, bro. <laughs> like, I want the in, bear girl to in, just in, be in like, in the, the, in the, 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 the area, they're like, tunenda, tunenda kwa karvo. Anak. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. Mm. Yo, do you know there's a guy, that go go and play do you know there's a guy who's them. probably smashing bear babes in Shags who's just on Grouchy's wake-up call? <laughs> And, Yo, and guys in Shags don't even know how to, to, to you know. Like, Grouchy is a fair norm. I went to check out some Jamaican restaurant I saw on TikTok and they were playing Grouchy's mixes, bro. Oh, he's played everywhere. I was Let like, me this, tell you. this There's is a video phenomenal. I, sent him. I love it. You see um, Hot Point? Mm. 
the way they like display TVs and shit. Yeah. Like it, it was grouchy. it was grouchy. I was just I love like <laughs> take a video. I love it. At what yeah. point? Yeah. Hot point. You know, but you know what? Do you know what's, do you know what's crazy? And I, I haven't even told Grouchy this. Um, there was a job we were doing yesterday, and the lady was like, um, "So everyone in the office, everyone in the office is asking." Like, is Grouchy okay? And I'm like, yeah, he's fine. He's like, you know, when he came for the recce, he was he was so so calm and this and that. <laughs> so what I think happens with Grouchy is that you see everyone sees the the, the, the hype, guy. The, hype. Yeah, yeah, the performer. Yeah. But when they meet him like in real person, when you meet yeah. in person, and he's so what is calm, it calm, like, like, he's so chill. Okay, okay. It's like <laughs> I look better. Because if, real life. Because you know, when you're when you're when you're watching him, when you're watching him. He's like, this is our guy, yo. This guy, <laughs> this is our guy. You, you put Go him with grunts in the club. When I start, you're on volume eight, yo. <laughs> Bro, and then he steps off the deck and is just like, like, yeah, yeah, yo, he's on mute. mute. <laughs> you know, he's like, you expect, like, he's you know, on mute. You, 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 expect, <laughs> you expect to see him like, Grouchy's walking in the mall or he's walking in town. You expect him to say, yo, <laughs> do that thing. <laughs> Even even when we were filming yesterday, it was like it was so funny because even before he he um went onto the decks, um the lady was so nervous. But once once the lights were on, the camera was on, mm. and he's like, "Here's the Action. wake up call." Da, 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 da. She was like, "Wow, he's a different person." <laughs> I'm a grow. I'm not a show. But you know, <laughs> that's true. That's true. But you know what's crazy? And shout then out to shout then out to Carolina um, um, Matoko. I must give her a call, by the way. The very first time um, I met Caroline, I remember Caroline saying, because um, she was talking to the, the guys at her homeboys radio school. She'd come in to do a talk. And um, yes, we used to have a radio school. Um, and she said, yo, every show's a performance. Yeah. Exactly. Every show's a performance. She's, she, and I've never, ever forgotten that. She's like, mm. every. And even. Even I find myself like even at work these days, like there are days obviously when I go into the job and I'm like, Ugh, whatever. Yeah. But I, there's gonna be at least an hour or two usually between seven hey, and nine. Yeah. Huh? If you put that on Patreon, no bosses are watching. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> but there's gonna be a moment. There's gonna be a moment where I'm gonna uh, hear that voice that says to me, "Every show's a performance." And yeah. whether it's performing with your voice and making your voice sound like da, 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 da. every show's a performance, yeah. man. Hundred yeah, percent sure. performance. So yeah. yeah, Ashley, you haven't told us those Does three that things. You're to not the same to sex, though. Sorry. Oh yeah. <laughs> How, no. you mean, how you mean? Every Oops. show is a performance. No, but it is. But it is. No, some, sh- some, show, some shows are not, are not <laughs> hey, that great. Buddha. Eh? Hey, Brixton you know, was loud. S- Sunday sex, <laughs> sex is not the same as Nini. I don't even know about Sunday sex. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you can't pull out now. No, hey, 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 hey. you can pull out whenever you feel hey. like. <laughs> Us. Um. Hmm. Well. Now can Food, go, for go, sure. Your, your politics is good. You still haven't answered the question. I love the what PR. Question? Wow, what question? Yeah, he question? went with music mm. in Shark. Oh, as, yeah, yeah, oh, as okay, you're okay. thinking about so, it. Yeah. Then, yeah, then, you, then you update. Wait, Let the guy talk. No, I, I like how... Have oh you heard how God, these things are vibrating nowadays? Can I get this talk? Have anyway. you guys... Holy, sorry, we'll get to you. Have you guys wow. heard how the iPhone vibration is nowadays? We're talking the whole time. On the new update. No. Do you guys don't like how it rings? I have not changed my ringtone since I've No, updated. like on Vibra. They've changed the Vibra. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm it's, not, like, I'm not it's that. like, you know, like if you use a vibrator, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're saying. But tell us more. I mean, I know what circumstances you You know, like vibrators go like zzz, 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 zzz. There's like different modes. Andy, do you, do you want it? Uh, Ashley, you were saying... Do you want those, those no, 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 That's the alley oops right there. Nah, nah, I don't, don't want to take you this one, bro. No, I don't want to take this one, nah. No, oh, yes, guys, all I'm saying is this. We're getting to Ashley. But Apple <laughs> has an update, mm. right? Uh-huh. Mm. And they've changed the vibration modes. Right. Mm. They're not how they used to be. Right. So I'm really fascinated by how it vibrates. Okay. But you were giving us an example of a vibrator. No, see, that I was telling you guys, like now iPhone has that's the really one, that's the one you like. You know, the vibration on iPod on iPhone has just been. Zzz, mm. zzz, that's why you never pick for, up for the calls. longest time. Yeah. So now it's kind of gone. I, I I don't know. I need to check the the different vibration. Mm. In what situations have you used the vibrator? And where's the phone Bruh. when it's ringing? To know to know that it feels the same as yeah. the phone it's, vibrating. I don't use a vibrator on myself. I can be a bit playful. You know, things mm. I've gone to a. a you know there's big toy stores 
in in Diamond Plaza. I'm you aware. go for research purposes. Mm. Mm. You go, iki tu ina vibrate aje. Mm. <laughs> so you've only used it in, in the shop. Yeah. Why? Why? Where else? Where, where else? else? I'm asking us. you guys. You tell us. You brought it up. No, see, I told you guys. Why are you guys questioning the fact that I said no. I am using it in a shop? Let him like, Nah, bro. Why? You, you took yourself. You no, yourself you. Yourself there. you no, you're want, mad. No, you you're want, mad at us. You want to me. You. you know the problem is this. Yeah. Andy and Ashley, you guys want me to pack in the vibration. Vibration. Vibra- <laughs> And he wants to move his trunk <laughs> to London. <laughs> Get out of here, man. Rust of that vibration, yeah! See now, see now, this wouldn't have happened if you just let me answer my question. Yeah, no, okay? <laughs> it was as simple as... <laughs> so, so, yes. Letting the lady talk... Uh, bad one, and then... Ashley, do you want to take this even anymore? I, I don't uh, pause. No, I'm good. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, answer. No, nah, I think we can move on to something yeah. else. That, that convo has just... I mean, man, um, <laughs> vibrating its way out. You guys... <laughs> Indulge me, man. I was having a conversation early on this week with a female friend of mine, and I told her I'll she actually her. no, I'll actually present it on the pod so that we see what we're going with. If if it's for real, for real. If it's something that happens, Zama, it's just a select few. But she was giving an account that we've all had so many times about dealing with men from different regions in the country and in Africa. Say West African men that she's dealt with are very, very generous. You know, like, we all know that Nigerian niggas know how to treat women, you know, like, just splash on her paws, you money-wise, know. <laughs> you know. Like Ghanaians. To treat her. Ghanaians as well. Yeah, I said West Africa, you know. You're yeah, like 2% yeah. Ghanaian. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, so, oh, oh, Central, 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 Central Africans Central. as well. Central, oh, yeah. Central and Southern Africans, you know. But now, when it's still waiting to, for my lunch. Say that again. <laughs> nah, I, I said it. It's, it's fine. But when you come to Kenya, she's like... But why are Kenyan men stingy? Why don't Kenyan men do... But, 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 but you know, a, why yes. the fuck do we keep getting compared to bloody Nigeria? You know, I'm, I'm partially from Kenya. I, I know you know that, right? Yes. But do you actually understand that we don't have oil? Huh? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, as in, <laughs> we don't have oil. Mm. We're not mineral rich. I said, but why the fuck do they keep oil saying, okay. why are Kenyan men so okay, stingy? Okay, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And uh, it's a very good um, thing, right? Uh, mm. Analogy. Here's the mm. thing. Mm. Yesterday, last night, I got lost. But I took a wrong turn and ended up in the theory room. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> right? <laughs> Wow. And I'm in wrong, the hood, huh? Wrong I'm in five series. Huh? That movie before. In five series. <laughs> no, in my five series, imagine. So, I, I, I now, you know, I used, I used to hang out a lot in Uthiru, right? Mm, so, but yeah, I was yeah, actually... Yeah. Uthiru? Bro, yeah. I left yeah. you in brother. No, 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 no. There was an Uthiru phase as well. <laughs> so, basically, I wanted to do a U-turn to come back down on, on Waikiki Way, right? So, I was like, shit, I've, I've missed a turn. Oh, I can go up into Ilri, go to the roundabout there, turn around, come back around. Yeah, yeah, actually. Now, yeah. When I drove up, and this is no word of lie, it's funny we're having this conversation. I drove up to that roundabout and I said to myself, fuck, Uthiru is actually shags. Just in terms of how the people are dressed. Bro, we don't live in shags, man. No, 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 just because you moved out let, the other let, day from <laughs> Ria. It's I don't know. Oh, zero. Like, so, so, and I, shout out to my, but, 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 I think the dress, you know, f- the, the, red so swim, it's man. not, it's shags, it's, but no, no, yeah, yeah, shags, yeah, right? I hear you, bro. So yeah. this is my mm. point, right? Mm. You see in, you've been to Lagos, right? He's been to Lagos. I don't know if you guys have been to Lagos, right? No. You see in Kenya, we don't have a, as mandem, mm. We don't, if, if we want to look good, right, it's all about what we, what we import to wear. Mm. You see what I'm trying to say? Okay. So it's going to be a dope shirt or a dope, mm. you know, mm. especially mm. uptown, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Dope pair of sneakers, da, 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 da. Whereas in Lagos, you, mm. you can have the poorest person who can go and find a native that looks super, super hot, super mm. good. Mm. For a very basic price, and it's part of their culture. Mm. A Nigerian will not wear Western clothes seven days a week like 100%. we do. Yeah, 100. they won't, right? Mm. 
so there's that level of pride and 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 then if you go to the Nigeria culture. and you get yourself some natives make let me tell you something <laughs> and I'm not dissing fundis here mm. even if you give the same fundi the same material in this country apart from maybe a video maybe a video I give them the exact measurements the fit that Nigerian fundis give you is mm. somewhere else Hundred, like and, and I think It, we've had this conversation and this was actually prior to us having this conversation you could be in a spot like w bar or something yeah. in this place and you're seeing someone decked top to bottom gucci and then you're seeing someone who's who's native ashawo whatever yeah. and, and this, this guy is mm, he's looking at you like <laughs> <not an Ashawo laughs> he's, 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 look, he's looking at you like oh, hey bro yeah. Yeah. this is so, proper so, so the thing is looking good is a culture yeah in 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 amongst nigerians mm. it's just a culture like even like even if you go to to london you go to wherever you go It's everywhere they invest so much time in looking good feeling good they get the chicks mm. right mm. they only have to go a little bit further to now bag the chicks mm. it's not that they're giving them 100k and 200k they did, but they're giving a little bit more than what guys here would give. Yeah. No, but, but, okay, but then you see, so yeah. let me finish now. Yeah. So then you have a guy who's roll up into this into Milan in the same shit he was wearing at work all day. Mm. Um he, he might be able to buy drinks mm. and whatever. And then sitting next to him he has a uh, a hot mama who's just waiting the fuck we get out of this place and he gives me the money and I just go about my business. <laughs> there's no excite there's no to me it's very like it's very very It's comparing apples and oranges. I, I just feel that, like, outside, people take a lot more... I don't know. I think it's a cultural thing. A lot more attention to themselves and give people a lot more attention. Because the thing is, and we have seen it, we've seen how Nigerian niggas and Ghanaian niggas spoil their babes. It's trips to Dubai. It's trips to the Maldives. I don't know you name where. Not South all Africa. of them, though. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Guys, guys, no, hear me no, out. No, 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 for no, for listen, most yeah. part, this is, the, this is the information that we are getting from our sisters, mm. right? And it's true, yeah. So I have to take it into account. Niggas right. is in Ashley's <laughs> DMs offering her money to fly her out and, you know, do God knows what. I should have you really know. taken that money. But <laughs> from their experience, from their stories, and I was like, by the way, why are we like this? You know, because most Kenyan men, the stories that we get from the ladies are, we are not as generous. We are teens. You're not as generous as our brothers from the West. And even more interestingly, when you go to the lakeside, it's a different story. Because guys from the lakeside, they are like... Niger light, you mm. know. No, it's mm. true because like those people will spoil, will spoil you. They will spoil mm. you, but they'll give you the heartache of your life. That's why, yeah. That's <laughs> like, why like our Nigerians. babes, our babes like from Nigerians. Central, yeah. That's why babes from <laughs> Central are give. all going to the lakeside. All of them, all of <clears> them. So I'm wondering, what's what's this interesting? This mix? sounds like a Bantu problem. <laughs> no, it's really no. Actually, let me say this. But but me, the, guys in, the guys in Central I, I Africa really, are Bantus as well. My oh God. my God! Where the Kushites at, my nigga? That's <laughs> what you wanna be at. Yo, that's what you wanna be at. Hey, bro. <laughs> no, but Listen, no. I, so it's it's interesting, and also <laughs> when it comes to the ladies, why is it that the moment you cross the border into Uganda, you get a completely different breed of women in East Africa and maybe in the whole of Africa that behave completely different? But then, you know, Andy, here's the yeah, thing. I also yeah. think it might be that we're just mean to everybody, not yeah. just women. Like okay. if you think about it, it's like, for example, you've always heard about how your boy will buy you alcohol, mm -hmm. but won't give you money for doctor fees, or won't buy you medicine. Yeah, yeah. will buy will buy you a bottle, <laughs> but won't give you money. Mm. So maybe it's just that we're naturally mean to ourselves. Maybe because one thing that when you go to somewhere like Ghana, right, the first thing that really hits you is how warm everybody is. Mm -hmm. It's like they're actually glad to see, even if they're not glad to see you. They act like they're so glad to see you. Even if it's nothing to do with business or money, it's just a warmth that we have. I don't... F f I used to feel that warmth when I first arrived. Mm -hmm. That warmth was there when I first arrived, right? And maybe it was just a reflex action of me not seeing it in London. I was like, even a little bit that was here. Mm -hmm. But these days, man, it's like I find that people... Either we're living... Life is too hard or... We just don't got time for that nice shit. Mm. Yeah. I think, I think um, let's, let's address this situation mathematically. Right? Right. I feel like 
I'm so tired of hearing Nigerian men, Nigerian men in Kenya. First and foremost, the Nigerian men in Kenya will never equate to the same amount of men who are here from Kikuyu land, from Luo land, Luya land, Kamba land, what, 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 mm -hmm. right? There's a perception that's been created by few, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That every other Nigerian, even from Roisambu, will try and <laughs> escape with a bill in a, an uptown club. And I'm speaking wow. the truth. True? Talk to uh, the owners of clubs in Uptown who will tell you, oh, these Nigerian scammers who've come from Roy Sambu, what, what, what. Yeah. You get? Mm. A lot of women are also getting sc uh, sc uh, scammed yeah. by this lot True. who are out here saying, yo, I'm Nigerian, what, what, what. Oh, you've gone with the perception. You've not even experienced it wholly. You're just like Nigeria Naira dollar. You mm. get? Mm -hmm. You get? Mm. So now it's oh, 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 oh. I assure you, in this here motherfucking country, there's enough men who spend on women more than Nigerians. Mm. Enough. Mm. It just is not on social media, by the way. Mm. Let's never get it twisted. Social media is not an is not a, a representation of mm. everything that's happening in Kenya. Mm. So at all getting flown out, if you're getting flown out, maybe it's a, a guy from Luonyanza. Mm. Maybe it's a guy from Mwingi. You get mm. so this whole perception of oh 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 Nigeria, fuck mm. that. And I it's think also it's, gonna it's be that. easy. It's always easy to tear down your yeah. own. And I feel like I feel like people always li like the exotic. Yeah, as well. You know what I mean? There's all of that, but you mm -hmm. have to understand, bro. All of these women who are saying this, they'll get to a point, and even this men. Well, I don't know. I'm not trying to be sexist or whatever, mm. but uh, honestly, yo, charity begins at home. You'll mm. just find Kamau back up or two, <laughs> and he's just like, hey, Ulienda. Yeah, well, you're back now. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? Oh, no, you're back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get. So yeah, it's yeah. it's an interesting one, mm. but but it's just how it is. But back to my point, right? Uh, in terms of Kenya not being as whatever, but the way Nigerians have go up. I won't cut mm -hmm. the way they clap. Mm -hmm. Do you've mm -hmm. experienced that shit? Yeah, yeah. those guys they, they've got a bit more color than we do. Mm -hmm. You get. But typically, also, uh, uh, Ash, you've had these stories. These guys will be in the club. Lipur in all of these tombs. Mm. When you go to their crib, yeah, there's nothing. Seven people in a bed. Seat. You get, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they've decided that's a priority. That's mm. a perception that we want to create the narrative. Mm. But on this other guy, you have Kamau, who's decided him. He does not take a bottle mm. of seven hundred or mm. one liter. He just wants his beer. Mm. In mm. a brown bottle, mm. but he's got a shamba, he's got a crib in shags. Mm. You get, mm. and it all boils down to a point where the woman will be like, Do I want to do this shit in the club mm. all damn day, or do I want to have I a bloody I roof? But then it's too late. You get? I think mm. for them, the they, they live a very lavish life out on the outside, you mm. know, and they're not necessarily too strategic about how they use their money, so it looks like you do have. You're spending a shitload of money, but yeah. in real sense, mm. you, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah mm. there's nothing to give there. Like, like mm. imagine, imagine, <laughs> imagine blowing a bill of two hundred k in the club for you Could to never you meet you, for you to for you to live with seven people. Come on, <laughs> 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 I love for you. You guys are probably in that house. There's no units. It's just dee, dee. <laughs> wondering whether you guys are going to load it up or that listen, is the car reversing listen, for you guys listen, to get out. Six and story by die. Before we before we finish, um, actually, no, maybe we'll discuss discuss that on a mini sode. Before mm. we go, I want to thank everybody. Last week, you guys showed out when we talked about like sharing and subscribing yeah. i think last year week's episode has got the most likes that we'd ever mm. got Love it. so we wanted to ask you the same we don't ask you for much we're just telling you that this really affects our algorithm and it means that more and more people can see the mics are open and can see the lockdown session and can see everything that we we do together so i'm just asking you just taking this moment to say to you please thank you very much for all of your likes and it takes you one second to like what we're doing and also to comment like let us know how you're feeling it whatever stick around this is just getting bigger, 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 bigger. So yes. keep, keep, yes. keep Yo, you gotta, you got to end it in a British way, no? Hey, mate, what's going on? You got the food? No, have what? a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day. <laughs> this has been the mics are open. <laughs> Adios. <laughs>